All right, hold on. Now it's time for all the fish flapping fun on Catching and Cooking with Captain William Charles. Just remember, I don't go fishing, I go catching. Hello? It's what time? It's fish 30. It's time to get up and go fishing. Where's my fishing rod, Carol? Oh no, I'm late. I'm late. I've gone fishing. Welcome to Catching and Cooking with Captain William Charles. The catching portion is shot on location offshore Sebastian Inlet, located on the east coast of Florida between Fort Pierce and Cape Canaveral. It's a beautiful morning in Sebastian, Florida. Captain William Charles and crew are heading out for an exciting day of fishing. So sit back, relax, and enjoy all the fish flapping fun on this episode of Catching and Cooking with Captain William Charles. There we go. First grouper of the day. That yeah. big AJ, he's probably yes, 60. Yes, he is. He's at least 60 pounds. <laughs> big AJ. Red grouper, all right. I got two gaff hooks on. I got a cobia hook and a kingfish hook. <laughs> I don't know what it is. The water's a little bit dirty, so. I'd like to see it anyway. See what we got here. <laughs> hold them up, hold them up. Nice kingfish. I gotta hold them up a little bit. Work real a little, real a little there you go. Nice kingfish. Let's grab us in. Alright, Captain Bill, what you got back here? We got the winning kingfish boat. Oh, yeah? We're <laughs> catching that guy's kingfish. <laughs> if you'll notice. We got uh, Mr. Folgers out and brought us some coffee and some good luck with them kingfish. Oh, yeah. have to the kingfish Meanwhile, we got Captain William Childs back here fighting one of them things. Looks like the fish is winning right now. Mr. Folgers brought the kingfish, huh? Yeah. That's the color. We got Jonathan here, a gaff man, is going to show his artistic value of stick and a fish. There you go. Strike one. <laughs> what kind of we got here, huh? Uh, right, he was, all right. He was right on top. He's, uh... He was right on top. There comes again. Oh, got him on the second strike. There you go. Nice little 10, 12 pound kingfish. Not only good eating, but a dang good grouper bait. Big fat blue runner down. Anchored up in about 160, 170 feet of water. And man, he came right back under the boat like a grouper, but I don't think it's a grouper, man. It's right like that. Holy mackerel. <laughs> this is what happens when you pick on somebody your wrong size. Sure, straight up and down, though. Look at the AJ right next to him. 
Yeah. Yeah. Just one fall. I never had one fall off like that before. Look at that. See the one right next to him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Cool. Look at that. Look at him right next to him. Right next to him. Just following him around. He's not going to leave. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, he gave me gas to green one. No. <laughs> Look at you just stand right next to him. You actually could have grabbed that fish. Oh man, that's a pretty big AJ. Oh. The other one's still sitting here beside the boat. Oh. Yeah, sit beside the boat right here. See what happened? That's a big AJ. He's probably yes, 60. Yes, he is. He's at least 60 pounds. <laughs> big AJ. First fish of the day. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Hey, let that one grouper in the boat, about two seconds later, we got another grouper on. What a flight. Dock leader! Oh, we'll oh, take reds. Oh, yeah. Grouper. Nothing wrong with that? Red grouper. All right. That just means, means you got one more left in here. That's a nice size red grouper. All right. Good deal. Hey, Jonathan, hold that grouper up. Has a match quick start for me. Right, you didn't push record, I don't think. All right, look at this grouper here, Jonathan just caught. Man, that's a nice grouper. Holy mackerel. What a battle he had on that thing. What a battle. That's at least a 40 pound grouper. What do you think about that? Oh, I love every moment of it. All right. It's a black belly. The egg or the gray grouper is one of the most common grouper of the grouper family. It puts up a great fight. We catch a lot of them here off the east central Florida coast and they're delicious as far as table fare. Again, Jonathan put down another line. He just got a big 40 pounder. He's got another one on. Jonathan's killing him today. I'm turning the fight over to somebody else. It's Jonathan's turn today. All right, who's got it now? <laughs> All right, yeah, Jonathan says I had, I had enough. I had enough. I don't look as big as the other one now. Yeah. Uh, I don't look as big. Uh, don't matter, don't matter. Butterfly bee liner though, that's amazing. Oh yeah. I wonder what we got on here. Might be a little red grouper or something, huh? It looks like a little grouper, something. Yeah, it's a little grouper. It's a nice little grouper. Oh, it's a nice little grouper, nice little grouper. You got a little hook. Oh, no, you got a nice hook on that. All right, nice little grouper. Nice little 15 pounder, probably. All right, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. Nice little 15 pounder. We got a couple reds in the box. Another 20 pound gray, a 40 pound gray. We're not doing too bad. Good catch, Julius. Good catch. All right. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what oh, you got there. back there, Captain Bill? I'm not going to believe this. I'm going to, you got my line? You're not going to believe this, Holy man, that is sweet. That is that one is nice mangrove. That's a mangrove snapper and a half, isn't it? Look at the size of that I'll mangrove tell you snapper. What. Out in the 85 foot off Sebastian Inlet. Actually, that hit a, uh, a pig fish. Pretty good sized pig fish. Unbelievable. That is a big mangrove snapper. That's a Sebastian Inlet mangrove snapper. 
Captain William Charles, catching and cooking. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after the break. Whoa, look at that on Frank's new rod. All right, that's what we're talking about. What'd you have on there for bait, Frank? This is a butterfly red snapper. Oh, you mean a bee liner? Yeah. Bee -liner. A bee liner, a butterfly bee liner. Good bait. Oh yeah, nice little gray. A little gray. 15, 20 pounder, 15 pounds. 15 pound gray, all right. Boy, not much up there, was there? There you go. All right, hold up there, Jonathan. There we go. Oh, a shark got it. They got it. That was that second hit, huh? Oh, man. Down some nice grouper. It was bigger than the other one. It was bigger. He got most of the shark. Got most of that grouper. Look at that, Mr. Shark. Nice grouper right there. It was a nice grouper. Arr, what happened to him? Man, I didn't see the shark hit it. Did you feel it? I seen the second hit on the rod. Yeah. yeah, I saw that air. Yeah, that's what he hit him. He didn't hit him very far down. Because I, I thought for a minute he lost the fish, and then all of a sudden yeah. it was tight again. Well, half a grouper is better than no grouper, correct? I was messing around with the spinning reel on the fly line because I had a bite. I was putting a new bait on it, and everybody's about to sleep here. I look over in there, my rod doubled over in the rod holder. I had a uh, pig fish on there. Oh, it feels good. Damn, I'm lucky to get that fish. Wow, he's lucky he didn't rock it up with his 50 pound tips. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm messing around with a spinning reel. Trying to catch a dolphin. Right, Doubled right over. pounds of weight on there, 50 pound test, braided line, 100 pound leader with a circle hook, using a pig fish, oh man, see it, it's a big black belly, all right, need a gap, oh, excellent, 30, 35 pound black belly, 50 pound test, oh, <laughs> nice fish, Oh! Woo! Stay tuned, we'll be right back. And remember, I don't go fishing, I go catch you. Hey, welcome back to the cooking portion of Catching and Cooking. I'm Carol the Cook, and I just got a call from Bill. He's back from his fishing trip, and I told him to bring the fish in. Today we're going to do grouper kebabs, and I said, Bill, bring it in. And here it is, folks. And remember what I always say, fresh is best. Bill, not the whole dish. You're supposed to clean it first. What are you doing? <laughs> you said bring the fish in, so here it is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We'll be Welcome back to the cooking portion of Catching and Cooking. I think Captain Bill and I had a small breakdown in communication. So I sent him back to the bait cleaning station to clean the grouper for our grouper kebabs. And I think while he's gone, I'll go over the ingredients that we're gonna use in today's recipe. First of all, I get the bamboo skewers and I soak them in water. Uh, you need to do that so when you're cooking them on a grill, and this is gonna be a grilling dish. Sometimes in the summer, it just gets a little bit too hot to cook in the kitchen, and besides all the fun's outside, so we're gonna to grill today. Let's, let's take your skewers and, and soak them in water, and the other ingredients that we're gonna use are the cubed grouper that Bill's cleaning, 
And we also have tomatoes, and I use the, uh, the cherry tomatoes. I also am going to put on the kebabs some pineapple, and those are in cubes. And also, we are going to be using mushrooms. That, along with yellow, red, and green peppers. And we're gonna be skewering that on the, the bamboo skewers, and we're gonna marinate it in a sauce, and then we'll pop it on the grill. Delicious. Be right back. Folks, welcome back. This is Captain William Charles. I filleted the grouper, and what I'm doing here is cutting it up into chunks or cubes. So we can always stick it on those skewers over there. It'll fit on there nice and firm. And uh, we had a little misunderstanding there. I guess fresh is best, but sometimes it can be too fresh. <laughs> so I had to go out and fillet the fish, and I got it all ready, and I'm gonna cut it all up here now, and then we're gonna get, get going here in a little bit. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back after these messages. Captain William Charles, fresh is best. Especially when it's filleted first. <laughs> no, 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 no more fish on the table, okay, Bill? <laughs> we are going to be assembling our grouper kebabs today. Bill is finishing up, chunking up the grouper, and I am starting with the, the, the skewers that have been soaking in water. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting one of the, the grouper chunks on the end, and then we just have a little bit of fun with this. We just put some, oops, a little bit of a mushroom and tomato. We're just gonna kind of skewer it right down and a, a piece of pineapple. And then I'm gonna get another, you wanna do it? Sure, I'll do it. All right, another piece of fish. All right, there you go. Fish? Yep. Pineapple, mushroom, Pineapple. a little bit of all this stuff. Where do you put that? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put one of those on there too. Go ahead and put. And that, like I think that. you can, well, I think you can probably, can you kind of, oh, that's good. And you need another tomato. And another piece of fish. That's it. Fish kebab. There you go. Yeah, just put it in the dish. Simple, easy, and fast, good for you. You don't have to worry about dirtying up your kitchen. And also, if you have any questions about our fish recipes or, or any questions about our show, please visit our website at www.catchingandcooking.com. If you'd like to email us, we'll get right back to you. How are you doing there, Bill? Oops, this is really good. tough here. Oh, it is tough, isn't it? You know what's, what's really tough about this dish is eating it. Another one of our, whoops. Oh, that's all right. Sometimes they break. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. We could just, just eat it like this. It'd be yeah, a, I think you could. Yeah, just load it up. Of, don't have to cook the fish. No, and it's got the fish, and it's got a little bit of fruit and some vegetables. What do you got? All right. You want to do another one? Sure. All right. There you go. What do you want me to hand you? Doesn't matter. 
Yeah, I think portion that. size, I think a... Well, this, this shouldn't take too long on the grill either. I'd probably get done pretty fast. I think a guy could probably eat a couple of those and, and a smaller appetite one is, is a good complete meal. I could eat about half a dozen of them probably. There you go. Don't forget the mushrooms. And you can just put as little or as much fish as you want on there. Okay. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. We have another pineapple. Another pineapple. Here you go. Yeah, let's just let's just wrap that one up. Looks good. And what I do is I take the marinade, which is pineapple juice, soy sauce, and I just pour it right on top, just like this. And fish, fish. You don't have to marinate very long. It's nah. not like meat, so. Yeah, and you know it's good. You too. don't want to marinate it too long. Soak it up on all What's the sides. marinade sauce? It's pineapple juice and soy sauce. And Bill, are you ready for our picnic? I'm ready to go. Let's go to the park. All right, let's go. We'll be right back. Catching and cooking. Join us for all the fish flapping fun here on Catching and Cooking. And for this and other great fish recipes, go to our website, www.catchingandcooking.com. Captain William Charles. And we are on location in beautiful Young Park in gorgeous Vero Beach, Florida. And we are got the, the grill started and Bill is putting the kebabs. Start the cook now. And Bill, how do you know when the kebabs are going to be done? The kebabs, well, we're going, what we're going to do is wait for this fish to turn white. White and flaky and then it'll be done. Well, how long is that going to take? Probably 10 or 15 minutes. You want the charcoal nice and hot, the grill really hot so we can get them done quick. Oh, boy, it smells good and I am hungry. All right, let's just wait about 15 minutes and we'll be ready to eat lunch. We'll be right back, catching and cooking. Bill's going to take them off the grill and we're going to taste, see how good they are. This is great family fun for a picnic. Easy to assemble, healthy meal for your, for your children and just, just a good time. Just kebabs of fun. Kebabs of fun. <laughs> oh, that smells awesome, Bill. It smells Terrific. Can't wait. Can't wait to try it. All right, let's go over and try some kebabs. Thank you for joining us here on Catching and Cooking for another quick fix fish dish. I'm Captain William Charles. And I'm Carol the Cook. And just remember, folks, I don't go fishing, I go catching. Let's, let's eat. eat. <laughs> Smells good.
ain't got nobody. <laughs>